Uh, hey everybody. Today we're going to cover FOG 1.3.0 Snap-in Packs. Uh, Snap-in Packs are a new feature in FOG 1.3.0. Basically, the way a, a traditional Snap-in would work is you define in the FOG web interface one, uh, one item that will be installed by the FOG client and you upload one file and that file is uncompressed it's a raw file so you could deploy a script or you could deploy an MSI or an EXE or a shell script or what have you and it was only one thing and of course you could get away with uh, making that work through scripting to install many things, but Snap-in Packs allows us to package many executables or many files. So, so one, uh, two or more. You know, you could even package one file. Compress those down into a zip file and uh, use that as a Snap-in Pack in Fog and uh, this will deploy to the clients using the settings you set and it'll uncompress that zip file and run the executable that you defined in the snap and pack settings and uh, this allows for you to deploy several files several executables with one snap and pack with just one thing in fog and also perhaps uh, put less strain on your network because the files are going to be compressed with the .zip format. So for this example I'm just gonna do a very simple snap-in pack which is going to be deploying one file which is uh, the Google Chrome 64-bit MSI and with it I'm going to uh, deploy a script that runs this. Uh, this this may seem complicated at first but just keep watching uh, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll try to explain it the best I can as I go. So here's the MSI and I downloaded this straight from Google for work, Google Chrome for work and this executable, here's what's inside of it, um, it's just one line, an MSI exec uh, statement. The uh, slash i is for install, and this is a path that is specific to what you name your snap-in pack, okay? And the slash quiet is to make the installation silent. Um, because all snap-ins and all snap-in packs must be silent. So, wh where does this path come from? Well, C, program files, x86, fog, temp. This is where the fog client copies all snap-in packs to. So it will copy down the .zip file to the temp directory and the uh, zip file is extracted to a folder with the name of the snap-in pack. So if your .zip file is uh, install common things but your snap-in pack name is test pack, fog will extract that install common things .zip file to a folder called test pack. Okay. Um, this one's actually. I have to edit this one because it's got the wrong name, but uh, I'm going to be deploying the Google Chrome MSI. So when it extracts from the zip file we make later, it'll extract to a folder called test pack because that's what we'll name our snap in pack. 
and uh, inside of there will be the MSI. So we'll save this and close. So the way we make this compressed is uh, we select these two things, right click them and say send to compressed zipped folder. And then uh, Windows will compress that. Um, and if you notice, this MSI, its size is 50.4 megabytes. Compressed size with the MSI and the script is 50.2 megabytes. So a slight savings there. Not much. I guess it depends on what you're zipping. Uh, MSIs don't depending on what they are they don't zip very well but either way slight savings there um, so this here is a zip file and inside of it are those two things that we uh, we zipped up right here and here and we're going to use this file here to create a snap and pack in fog 1.3.0 so we will go to fog and this is my fog server at home and I'll log in and we will go to uh, snap in management and click create new snap in in here because the path it that I want to use is test pack this is the exact name that I'm going to call the snap in pack if this was uh, snap in pack 2 this path would have to be snap in pack 2 okay because the uh, fault client will extract to a folder with the name of this the uh, snap in pack it doesn't matter what the uh, the zip file is named and it doesn't matter if there's a folder inside the zip file or not the fault client makes a folder with the snap in name and then everything in the zip uh, file gets put into that folder so it's important to know that um, snap in storage group I think I want to put it on my remote branch group snap in type it's a snap in pack uh, snap in description just installs Chrome. Snap in pack template, it is a batch script. So here we have snap in pack arguments, and you'll see fog snap in path my script dot bat. And this is for the batch script template. The other templates have other arguments we see here that it's run being run with command.exe which is correct um, and we're going to change this here to uh, I think chrome.bat is what I named it uh, lowercase c so chrome.bat so what does this what does this even mean in this uh, snap in command down here, we see that the fog client is going to run command.exe slash c for command. And then in these quotes, this is a path that the fog client is going to expand. Now, chrome.bat is the path of our executable, it's the name. Fog snap in path with the brackets around it the fog client is going to expand this okay to uh, something like let's see if I can type it out or I don't want to type it out I'm just gonna copy and paste so it, it's going to expand it out To this fog snap in path becomes this all right so oh. 
it becomes this. And you don't have to type this in, okay? You should leave this alone unless you have a really good reason to change it. Uh, the fog snap in path is just going to be C program files fog temp and then the snap in pack name. This this path will automatically be filled in for you. And then on and here's what's after that that variable. It's a backslash and chrome.bat. So the final product will be it'll be uh something like this here. C program files fog temp test test pack chrome did I misspell chrome? I did. C H R O M E is it spelt right over here? It is. Okay. So there. Um fixed. So this entire line fog snap impact backslash chrome dot bat it expands at runtime to this. Okay. So this is what the fog client We'll try to run right now with these settings uh, when this snap impact deploys. So it's going to extract the .zip file to this path, and this is the snap impact name. And then it's going to try to run this file, and it's going to use command.exe to do it. And it's going to be similar to this, this here this command. If we copy this, I'll show you what this in a little bit. So this is the complete command that it should do. So we're going to pick our, our zip file with the browse button and we'll choose Chrome. And we will add it. And then the file will upload. The file gets hashed upon upload for uh, new snap impacts and uh, here is the uh, hash for the file this is for security purposes it's so that the uh, the fog client knows that the file that the fog server is sending is valid because there's a there's a hash file that's generated only at upload time that is stored in the database it's a SHA-512 checksum and this, this is just so you can see it and, uh, and copy it if you need to, but uh, you can't change this field. Um, let's see. So this snap in pack is made, and it, it should work. And you see that uh, the snap in type stayed as snap in, but the snap in pack template is no longer selected that may or may not change in 1.3.0 release but you do see that all these values are correct command.exe here's your arguments here's your file uh, and this is the command that will be run and uh, this trailing chrome.zip that's the file it should extract so now we're going to associate this snap and pack with a host go to host management and we'll list all of our hosts we're going to use this one which happens to be the computer I'm remoted into and uh, we'll go to snap-ins on the left right now there are no snap-ins associated we click this checkbox to see what we can associate this is the one snap-in pack that we have we'll check it and say add snap-ins so now this is associated. If we go to basic tasks now and go to advanced, down here we see single snap in. We can click that and pick the single snap in we want, which in this case is test pack, 
and we can click create single snap-in task for uh, the host. Now I'm going to minimize this window a little bit so we can see what's going on. I'll minimize this. This should actually go really quick. Um, remember the, the path, program files, x86, fog temp, test pack, chrome.bat? We're going to watch that actually get created so that you can see it, so that you can understand it a little better. I'm going to minimize this and go to that, that path. First, I'm going to delete my fog log just so that it's empty just so that it's easier to show you the log afterwards and then I'm gonna go to uh, program files x86 fog temp alright so here's the temp directory and right now you just see the public certificate every and it's empty besides that we'll put this over here and we'll deploy this snap in and then go to the uh, task management area to watch progress hmm so um, we should see the file uh, the check-in progress uh, is, is we'll see how this works let's see we should see the zip file appear in here and then we should see a folder oh there it is there's the zip file that we uploaded there's the extracted test pack name if we look in there there's our two files and then when this is done it'll delete these two things so it's running and we got a notice down here that said it was installing and this is the the folder name I was telling you about it uses the snap in packs name it doesn't matter what the zip file is called it extracts it to a folder with the snap in pack name so it's installing Chrome right now We should see an icon appear on the desktop for Chrome here shortly if it succeeds. And it should succeed. Oh, there it is. Um, and then it says it's completed. And then the task disappeared in task management. Alright, so that was all really fast. Um, but, as you saw, a f uh, the zip file was downloaded into this directory the uh, the snap in pack was extracted to a folder with the name of the snap in pack after that was done fog then ran the executable and the executable path was this just as I described earlier so it runs this batch file it which installs Chrome in this instance and when it was done, it cleaned up after itself, it deleted all of these files. So, the, uh, the file deleting behavior, this allows you to deploy maybe sensitive things, like things that have passwords in them, or uh, uh, things that have uh, license files um, that you don't want to, say, to just hang around for, for a long time on a computer. Um, you can deploy these things with snap ends and they only exist for the time that uh, it's being used and once it's done it's deleted so it's pretty pretty secure and they're only there for as long as it takes to do the job um, so let's go look at the fog log now go to uh, the C drive and here's the fog log and we see snap-in client. Here it found a snap-in. Snap-in found. Okay. Uh, the name was test pack. This was when it was created, which we just created a little bit ago. And uh, it is a pack, snap-in pack, so this is true. Hide is false. If hide was true, then uh, the arguments here would be hidden. Okay, in case you wanted to pass your arguments, pass a password or something in your arguments, you could do that and it would not show up in the log, nor would it be 
nor would it exist in a file. Um, that is slightly more advanced, but it's still pretty easy to do. But for the purposes of this video, I left everything showing, and I did something very basic, which is just Chrome. Uh, this is the URL. So here's your arguments. These come directly from the database. This is the URL that was used to download the snap in pack. This URL is only good f during the time that the snap in pack test exists in task management. So as soon as it's complete, this URL is no good anymore. Um, and uh, here's your uh, file that it downloaded, the location of it. Let's see, processing the snap impact chrome.zip, so that's it extracting it. And, and so here's your full, here's your full arguments right here. Your arguments for your, your snap in pack is here. Let's copy that. And this is going to be very similar to this here. We see slash C and then the fully expanded path, which is what I explained earlier this was. Uh, Fog snap in path gets expanded to this path with the snap in pack uh, name as a folder and then anything past that is tacked on that you add into this argument so backslash chrome dot bat was added so that was tacked on to the end here and then down here uh, the fog client emits the notification it tells you it's installing the snap in pack don't shut down until it's completed and then here's your return code return code zero means success this return code is not from the fog client it's from your snap in pack executable if it's a batch file this is the exit code for that for batch files if it's an MSI this is the exit code for that MSI if it's an exe this is the exit code for that exe so the return code is not specific to the fog client at all the return co code is specific to the type of executable that you're trying to run so if you get some some code besides zero and your snap in pack or snap in is failing you can google search this code for the type that you want the type of executable it is so if it's a batch file you would uh, google search batch file exit code or batch file return code and then you would type in uh, the number that you're given. So down here we see that it finished and it emitted a message saying that it was finished. So as soon as it got done it then told the fog server that that snap in pack is complete and this line here basically uh, closes and completes the snap and pack task and then the uh, fault client just goes about its business doing its other things that it does every cycle um, so that that is about it I hope that I explained it well it's kind of complicated it's a lot to take in at first it took me uh, a couple days and a lot of uh, time and effort and I guess finding the, the time was the most hard part but to figure this out so I'm, I'm making this video so that you don't have to go through that so that you just know how it works um, and of course all this information is available in the fog uh, wiki article snap impacts so if we go to uh, wiki.fog project.org we should be taken to the wiki maybe
yep, here we are. And if we search for snap in packs, we'll be taken to the snap in packs article. Um, I've been working on this this article. It's not complete yet, but maybe it'll be complete by the time that you watch this video. Um, but it describes everything that I've said in this video, but in text and maybe in greater detail um, especially with the the, uh, the pathing all the pathing stuff and how the zip is handled is right here under uh, this piece in the article and uh, there will be examples and video examples in here eventually so hopefully that helps you out a little bit um, and uh, hopefully that gets you going with snap impacts. I guess that's it. Um, have a good time. See you later. Bye-bye.